I think stigma can be eliminated by education, education of self and education to others, but also acknowledging what your stigmas are. I mean, I, you know, I definitely had my thoughts around bipolar. Um, what, although I worked in the mental health field, I, I still had my, my own thoughts about it, and, and many of it was negative. I'm still so full of my own stigma as well as other people's, and there's a constant concern of how I'm going to be seen. I had no contact with family for years, and a lot of it had to do with my behavior um, because over the years I'd behaved in a certain way that it wasn't okay. Some of it, you know, was, you know, I'd stolen some things from, you know, family members when I was younger because I didn't really understand what was going on. And growing up poor, I wanted to have more, and that added to the stigma. And people, everything adds together, and people put it all together to, to assume that it's all the mental illness, so it makes somebody bad. I've had a lot of reactions when I talk, tell people about um, that, I, that I have uh, bipolar disorder, and um, I've had everything from literally you can watch someone's face and it's kind of the deer in the headlights, like, wow, you know, like, oh my God, I'm afraid of you, almost. In one instance, what I think happened was, even though it's not uh, legal to do so, I think the person that was interested in employing me called up a former employer and asked why I had left. And the reason why I had left that, that previous job was that I had had a bout of depression so severe that I couldn't work. And this company was ready to hire me, everything was going great, and then all of a sudden, there was nothing. When you're diagnosed with cancer, you, you call your family, you call your friends, you, you, know, you talk to your employer, and you, know, you get flowers, you get sympathy, and everyone is rallying around you, we're here for you. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, when you're diagnosed with mental illness, which is also a life-threatening illness, you, you don't get that. You don't get flowers. You don't, you don't get, um, you know, your employer saying, um, we understand, we'll schedule your time depending on your treatment. Um, you don't get, you know, coworkers patting you on the back or giving you a hug and say, we understand, we're here for you. What, what you can get, and many have gotten, is, okay, silence. I think it's really important for employers to realize that what they do really can affect a person's life. The hardest thing is I just want people to see me as me and not as bipolar me, you know, and that's been hard. And that's one of the reasons is I, that I don't tell people about it, because I want them to see me. I'm very discreet in who I tell because I think it's still, it's still so much stigma around mental illness that unfortunately can cause harm depending on who you disclose to. However, I think it's important to disclose um, because it is, it, is, it is an illness that is life-threatening. And the more information people have, the more you can get support and the more, you know, they can understand your, your plight in living with this illness.